Good morning, I'm Nikki Stimson at the GBTA conference here in Brussels at the broadcast studio. And this morning I am delighted to welcome Spencer Brace, who is the head of growth for True. Welcome, Spencer. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Very well, thank good. you. Yeah, good night last night. And this is your first time at the GBTA conference? Um, no, no, I was at the uh, GBTA conference in, da um, not Dallas, in uh, San, Diego San Diego earlier on in the year. Oh, yeah, great. which was great fun, and uh, it's great to be here in Europe as well. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit more about True. Yeah, well, yeah. Troop um, helps companies optimize the uh, location for their next meeting okay. based on the, uh, the, the starting points of the attendees. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we, we provide data on CO2, travel time, and costs, and, and how easy it is to get there. So companies can make a responsible choice um, about where to hold their next meeting. Fantastic and crucial in today's environment, obviously. Absolutely, yeah, so. absolutely. Um, so tell me more about how Troop incentivizes companies to be more sustainable and to be more conscious of the time their employees spend traveling. Yeah, well, um, you know, one of the challenges companies face today in this hybrid working world is, yeah. is how they keep their, their, their people coming together. Um, they're, they're distributed more now, and uh, with the challenges of CO2 goals that companies have now set, the commitments they've made, like we, we're hearing a lot about this this week uh, with COP27 going on, um, they're, they're challenged because in one way they want to bring people together, but that requires travel, and travel is going to create CO2. Um, on top of that, they also have reduced budgets, and so we're bringing that data to the decision makers at the planning point um, to make some great responsible choices about holding um, the next meeting, or maybe not even holding it with the, uh, the information around this, uh, yes, these yeah. key data points. Yeah, so they get, make a more informed choice. Mo a more informed choice and, and, and a more responsible. Yes. You know, they're actually avoiding CO2 with the locations they're choosing. Great. Um, and finally, a lot of travel managers avoid owning M&E um, as it's difficult to show their achievements within the category. But they hear about it when things go wrong. How, how can Troop help with yeah. this problem? Yeah, well, the M&E is um, it's kind of one of the last bastions of uh, sort of uncontrolled travel in, in some respects. Yeah. And, um, you know, lots of travel managers stay away from that because, you know, they want to set themselves up for success. And if there's no tools that can help you uh, with that, you're, yeah. you're 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 in a tight spot, um, and um, you know I have a lot of respect for the travel managers when they do get involved and do their best. Um, with Troop, what we hear from our um, our customers is is we're providing a tool that allows the um, planners to actually engage, um, get the answers they need, and then from a, a travel management perspective, uh, the the travel managers can then see well how big is our program, who's using Troop, what meetings are being arranged. What, what, what is the average profile of our meeting, how yeah. much CO2 and, and all of this. And it, it allows them then to build a strategy on top of that to actually manage this kind of rather untamed part of travel yeah. today. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. So thank you so much, Spencer. It's been lovely to talk to you this morning. Likewise. This is Nikki Stimson from the GBTA conference here in Brussels. Thank you so much for tuning in.